Welcome to Prevent Your Adventure, and today, this beautiful Sunday afternoon, I'm in Warren, Rhode Island, on the recommendation of Jeff Moniz, Moniz and I'm at Belasco's Pizzeria. And um, well, let me show you what I got, and I can also show you the, the front end of the place, as you have to look at my hands. Sorry about that. So I've got, this is their uh, thin crust brick oven style pizza. Wouldn't be eating pizza for a while. And then there's also just a regular pizza. And here's the place right up over here. It's in a two store plaza. There's a uh, package store over here and it, on the wall over there, I don't know if you can see it or not, is an ice machine. I was <laughs> watching some guy standing there when I got here. I didn't quite understand what he was doing in these big blocks of ice. He was getting blocks of ice out of there. So anyhow, that's what's happening here. So I'm here at, uh, well I already told you, I'm here at Belasco's Pizzeria, Warren, Rhode Island. So let me try this thin crust first. Nice crust. Crisp on the bottom. Very thin. I asked a girl who was working the counter, granddaughter of the founder. Because they have a brick oven and a traditional oven pizza. So I was asking if they actually have a brick oven. She said they have two different ovens. She wasn't quite sure what was back there. So there's a little bit of char on some of them. So I'm not sure. They moved to this location in 2010. Then they were down... The road a little bit earlier. So you're gonna eat the whole piece. I like the crust. In my humble opinion, too much cheese kind of overpowers anything else going on on top. This is a thicker crust, almost Sicilian. Nicely done though, nice flavor. Somehow even though there's kind of the same amount of cheese, I'm getting the sauce, more sauce flavor off of this one. So, that's all I got here was a couple pizzas. Can't believe how big that big is. I'm going to be eating pizza for the next two nights. But let me finish, we'll come back, we'll give it a score. Okay, final thoughts here at Velasco's Pizzeria, Warren, Rhode Island. Um, this is strange to me. I don't mean strange in a bad way, just... Let me let me tell you why. The brick oven style pizza with a thin crust had a very crisp bottom and a nice crust to it. Really couldn't get much flavor out of the sauce. I don't know if they put less sauce, sauce on because it's a thinner crust. I'm not sure. And, and plenty of cheese to kind of overpower that sauce anyhow. The thicker crust pizza was a little doughy. There was no crisp on the bottom. I looked at the bottoms of both and they were pretty identical so they, they must cook in the same oven. And uh, 
I got a lot more flavor out of the sauce, even though they both appeared to have the same amount of cheese sitting on top. So I just thought it was kind of strange. If I, if I could combine the crust of the thin crust and the flavor of the thicker crust, this would be pretty, pretty cool. But I can't, and that's okay. It is what it is. So, um, really nice girl inside. I thought she might have gotten tired of me. She walked in the back. She kept coming back, so. She was very nice. I, I didn't get her name. Um, she works with, with her grandmother and her aunt. Her grandmother still comes in and makes the dough every morning, and the aunt was doing the cooking today. I don't know if she's typically the cook or not. They do wings and stuff, calzone, salads, sandwiches. So, very nicely done. Good pizza. Good stuff. I'm just a little... It doesn't take much. Confused, boggled, boggled, befuddled about the differences because they appeared to be similar except for the crust, but there were differences in the, in the way the stuff tasted. So anyhow, that's where I'm sitting. So let's give it a score. By the way, once again, thank you to, and I apologize, I, I'm sure I butcher a lot of these names. I'm basing it on my French-Canadian upbringing, so I don't, you know. But Jeff Moniz, 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 sorry Jeff. The Jeff part I got for bringing me here. It was a nice ride, nice day for a ride. Light traffic on 95 and 195, so that made it okay. And uh, just a nice meal. Worth the ride? Yeah, I'd say so. So let's give it a score. Zero to ten. I'm gonna go eight point two. I think it, I think it did a nice they did a nice job here and, and I enjoyed it so 8.2 fair score at Belasco's Pizzeria Warren Rhode Island now some people like my stories some people don't but I put them at the end so if you don't like them you can just stop before I get going and you don't have to listen to the story um, I had one lady was a little bothered with the chicken beheading of the chicken stories this one is going to have unintentional unintentional cruelty to a rat so if that stuff bothers you you might not want to listen to this but uh, as I'm sitting here and this for some reason I don't know why but it kind of got me thinking back to the days when I worked for my father before I ended up as an owner I worked for my father my when I was younger and uh, had a full service meat counter and uh, back in those days at least in our store we had deli counters but one ha one part of it one side of it was deli we had actually two coolers one was a deli and one was had steaks and, and uh, ground meat ground beef and other stuff in it and so the meat cutter was out to lunch and I was covering the meat counter preface this a little bit about um, a month or two before we had an exterminator come in we just it's automatic we had one come in every 30 days once a month no matter what I think it was a law but I'm not really sure so we had an exterminator come in and the guy said I see some signs of rat droppings um, I'm going to put down some poison because they usually travel in pairs and we want to nip it in the bud before they start to multiply. Okay. Never thought about it again. So anyhow, the meat counter's out, the meat cutter's out to lunch. I'm covering the meat counter and uh, had a lady come in. Turns out there's three customers total standing there. Lady come in and ask for a pound of hamburger, two pounds of hamburger. I don't know. So I reach into the cooler, use a scoop, put it into the dish, come up, and go to turn to go weigh it at the scale, which was about three steps in that direction. And I hear and feel a crunch.
and I look down and I've just stepped on the back of a rat. Uh, I gotta keep cool because if I say, oh my gosh, there's a rat here, three people walk out and I probably never see them again. So I gotta act like nothing's going on. And I'm telling you, every store, just about every food business has some type of these problems somewhere along the light way. But so anyhow, <laughs> I have to act like nothing's going down. But I evidently broke the rat's back. Now, it's moving slowly because it's been poisoned. It's already dying. And while I kind of walk around it to put the meat down to weigh it, I, I kind of look back and it's on the floor pulling itself with its front claws going, ee, ee, ee. <laughs> I was, it's not my thing. I'm not an exterminator. I don't like dealing with any of that stuff. But it pulled itself under a stand. And so I took care of my three customers without letting them know what was going on, and I pulled it out. Um, it was finished. But I still remember, A, the feeling of that crunch under my foot, and, and B, I was pretty impressed with myself. I, I would say I was 20, 21, I don't know. Not a rodent guy, not a fan, and I just kept my cool after stepping on that thing and uh, took care of my customers and then we disposed of it. So there's my story. A little disgusting, yeah. In hindsight, kind of humorous, I think so. But it happened to me. So anyhow, there you go. So Belasco's Pizzeria, um, Warren, Rhode Island, 8.2.